Chris in uh, Oakland, California. Hey, Chris, thanks for listening to SiriusXM. What's up? Hi, hi. Yeah, hey, Tom, thanks for taking my call. I, I, I don't know if you've touched on this, and I apologize if you have, but am, am I nuts, or is Donald Trump potentially looking at some serious SEC uh, violations over this, this shenanigans of funneling all this money to mar lago and all this other stuff? Uh, it, it, that, those questions are being raised. I've seen them in several different articles. I'm guessing, given that the FEC right now has uh, is frozen, basically. I mean, you know, this uh, there, there's there's massive violations that have been happening of uh, federal election commission laws before, you know, geez, years. And yeah. there are three Republicans and three Democrats on the commission. And it takes four votes for them to prosecute anybody. And the Republicans not only have refused to have those votes, the Democrats, this was about a month ago, tried to get the Republicans into the same room with them by saying, why don't we all have breakfast together? And, they, and the Republicans said, oh, that sounds like a fine idea. Propose a menu. Democrats proposed a menu. The Republicans said, no, we don't want to eat that. And that was the end of that. I mean, you know, it's, it's like the, the FEC is broken. Chris, it may well be that Donald Trump, you know, basically running a, a, a scam operation, you know, sort of like Newt Gingrich did for years and years. He really wasn't running for president. He was he was, you know, running to enrich his personal fortune and sell more books. It could be that that's in fact, I'm quite certain that that's where Donald Trump started. And there's still a good chunk of scam going on. I mean, after all, the guy's a hustler. He's a businessman. He's a he's he, there's a certain amount of scam involved in, in that, at least the way he does it, the way he brags about doing it. And part of the deal where he talks about, you know, creative uh, uh, exaggeration and things like that. Uh, but whether the FEC violations will ever be prosecuted I don't think so. The, the 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 calculus that the Republicans have been making, the Democrats have been pretty good about sticking with with the rules all the way back to 2008. The calculus that the Republicans have been making is we'll break the rules and we'll deal with the consequences later. It's very much the corporate America, you know, yeah, you know, so we kill a few people, you know, but we'll deal with that later, not to worry about it. So yeah, uh, the profit, if the profit exceeds the fines, it's just, a, you know, it's a, just well, a cost of business. Exactly. And if you get the really power, if you become president, then you get to appoint the judges who are going to, you know, decide against you or for you. You, you, you got it. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the watch more videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.